In today's video, we're taking a look at how to make homemade bacon easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do everything that we use on the video. We're going to leave a link on the description. So you woke up today with bacon on your mind and you want to master the breakfast game or the whole game because you basically could put bacon on anything. Don't worry, here at the Statabox team, we've got your back. Homemade bacon is a lot better than the store bought, not only because of the taste, but also because you have control of what goes in it. And the other special thing about it is that when you go to your butcher or supermarket or market, you choose the piece that you want. And that piece that we want and that we need is pork belly and preferably without the skin. If yours comes with the skin, you can go ahead and remove it and you can save it to do crackling. And in today's video, we're going to show you how to do that in two ways, a wet brine and also the dry method. And the piece that we got at the market is about four pounds and a half. And the first thing that you want to do with any meat is take it to the spa because if you make it feel good, it's going to treat you well. And we do that by patting it dry. Now that our guest is smiling, we're ready for the next step because we're showing two ways on how to do bacon. We're going to cut ours in half. If you want to try out both methods, you can as well. Remember, you are the king, queen, both or none of your castle. A disclaimer, you might want to see side to side, see if your spouse, friends or family members are around before you make the claim. But between you and me, we know you are the boss. And we're going to measure the piece of meat with the greatest technique of all time to get an exact cut where each piece of meat weighs the same amount. And we do that by eyeballing it. And because we're using curing salt or called frog powder number one not to be confused with Himalayan salt or any other types of salt. And that's why it's very important to measure and weigh your cut because the excess consumption of this salt may be harmful to humans. That's why verifying the directions of your product is very important. And we always want you to be safe. You know we love you guys, girls, both or none. And also as an extra guide, you can always Google curing salt calculator tools online. And our first cut comes in 2.09 pounds. And we're starting with our dry rub. Our first ingredient is two tablespoons of kosher salt, which is 30 grams. Our next ingredient is two tablespoons of sugar or about 25 grams. Our next ingredient is one teaspoon of black pepper or about two grams. Our next ingredient is one tablespoon of paprika or about 6.8 grams. And our last ingredient is one teaspoon of curing salt, which is the prag number one, which is about five grams. We go ahead and mix that well so all the hotel guests could mingle a little bit. And now that everybody's gotten to know each other, we're ready to give the BIP treatment. We're going to show that piece of meat the best rub of its life. And we're going to make sure we don't miss any nook or cranny because this being a tip based job, we're trying to get everything that we can. Now that you and the meat are exhausted, we're going to go ahead and place it on a Ziploc bag. If you have a vacuum sealer, you want to use that. And we want to make sure we try to remove all the air that we can. And now that you place that meat on an oxygen deprivation tank, which is your kingdom's gold standard premium service, we are ready to check out our second method. And this new guest arrives at 2.33 pounds. As you can see, Master Splinter would not be proud of this cut. As a samurai ninja bacon maker, we did not cut it 50-50. But don't worry, Grasshopper. That's the great thing about homemade. It's not meant to be perfect. Now that we took our guest belongings to the room, we're ready to create our mixture. 
The first thing that we're gonna need is two and a half tablespoons of kosher salt, which is about 36 grams. Our next ingredient is two tablespoons of sugar, or about 25 grams. Our next ingredient is one teaspoon of ground black pepper, or about 2.33 gram. Our next ingredient is two teaspoons of chili powder, which is about 5.42 gram. And our last ingredient is half a teaspoon of curing salt, which is equivalent to 2.5 gram. Now we show our guests the swirl pool that happens on the jacuzzi. Now that they're mixed, we're ready to introduce them to the waterfall. And that is two cups of water, which is about 473 grams. And we go ahead and mix that well. Now you're gonna show your guests that they've come to the greatest and best ever hotel in the world. You're gonna put them in a bag with water with no air. To make things easier, we're gonna use a bowl. And we accomplish this great marble by sealing the bag 95% of the way through and removing the air little by little until we get to the top and finally seal it completely. And then you throw away the keys. I mean, you go ahead and place it on the refrigerator. And no matter which technique you use, you don't want to go over seven days. You can always flip halfway through the process, but in our experience, we've done two days, three days, four days, five days, all the way to seven days, and we always get great results. Just remember that the more that you leave it, the more it's gonna penetrate. Now comes one of the most important things of this process, and it's rinsing away the brine or rub from your pork belly. You can do this the old fashioned way on the sink and or place it on a water bath for a couple of hours. And we do this to remove the curing salt, but also to prevent any saltiness. And to make sure that we get our tip, you wanna make sure that you pat it dry on all sides. And now that we don't know how this went from a hotel stay to waterboarding, just like the movies, we're ready to smoke the bacon. And this is optional. If you don't want to smoke your bacon, you can take it to the oven until it reaches an internal temperature of 150 degrees Fahrenheit or 65.5 Celsius. And depending on your oven or your smoker, we want to set it to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is equivalent to 93.3 Celsius. And we've done this recipe at 200 degrees, 225, and 250, and we always get great results. If you have a smoker, you can smoke it on the smoker. If you have a grill, you can smoke it on a grill, either charcoal or gas. If you wanna check out our how to smoke on a gas grill, we'll leave a link on the description of the video, as well for charcoal. And this usually takes from two hours at the most three hours, depending on your particular system. So now that we got to our desired temperature and your hotel gas are smoking, no and not that kind, but they seem very happy, I might say, we're ready to bring them inside and let them cool down. The more you let it cool, the easier is going to be to cut it in slices. You can even go the extra step on placing it on the refrigerator until the next day, and that will help it firm up. And a pro tip, that also works to firm up mozzarella if you ever wanna shred it. And now that you let your bacon cool down, we come to the fun part of the video. And that is slicing the bacon. And this is where you have total control of the size and thickness you want your bacon. You can either choose to cook them right away or you could place them on an airtight container on your freezer and save it for another day. Overall, we tried both methods and have had other people taste it as well without really noticing any difference. They both produce great homemade bacon, a lot better than the store-bought one, and it's another notch on your samurai belt collection. You have leveled up to the greatest ever status. 
in your home. Maybe on the next video of your block. And another pro tip, you can always strain and save the liquid gold left behind when cooking bacon. Don't forget, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, that really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone in the Statterbox team or someone in the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching and here's the link to our latest video.